My name is Justin Roby. I'm the host of Roby Tech, and this is a show dedicated to tech news, tech deals, uh, also tech building and all that sort of stuff. Today, we're gonna to be doing the DeepCool CL500. I'm actually pretty stoked about this. This is another really cool, just airflow case. Um, and I'm stoked about, I'm stoked about it. the design is very retro. I mean, if you're into lines, there's some pretty innovative stuff that they did with this case, specifically with the, like taking the front cover off and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's got magnetic side panels. It's got USB-C uh, on the top, and then we've, uh, which is also nice. It's also got RGB and reset. It's got a built-in fan hub and also a GPU stand. So if you look here on the back, they actually have a, um, a fan hub right here, which is pretty awesome. So uh, the GPU cable trap there, which always looks really good. This will probably be something that's super useful for like the 3090, but like if you wanna keep your GPU from sagging, you can use that little arm that's built in with the case, which is pretty cool. Over here on the side, you can actually see, we've probably got at least, I don't know, almost an inch, maybe seven eighths of an inch of room here, just in terms of depth. Um, and then it should, if I'm not mistaken, I hope, yep, this just pops off no mesh, right? Like it's just straight, like you can mount there. Um, and then you also have, this should also come off. Nope, maybe not. There you go. And then uh, again, you got high airflow up here too. There's a button at the top. Okay, so we're gonna build in it. That's what we're gonna do today. Let's go through what we're gonna put in today's build. So we're gonna start with, um, we're gonna start with the AMD Ryzen 3900X. Uh, this is a 12 core, 24 thread. This is the same one that I recommend in my RTX 3000, my 3080 build. Um, so it uh, should be a good build. Um, it sits at 4.6 gigahertz. It's definitely, it's definitely overclockable to 4.8, 4.9 uh, with an AIO, um, which should be pretty good. So we're gonna, be, we're gonna be playing with that. So there's our CPU. For our motherboard, we're not doing anything cheap. We're just gonna throw it in this X570 Aorus Master. Um, you've seen this me use this board quite a few times. Uh, X570, which means we get PCIe Gen 4. If we were to throw a 30A in this build, um, we would be capable of doing that stuff uh, with Gen 4. We got Gen 4 on all PCIe by 16 slots. So we're good there um, and uh, should be awesome. So this is our motherboard for our GPU. You know, just because at this point in time, we're gonna use the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Founders Edition. I'm gonna use the NZXT C850. I love these, I love these, these um, power supplies are actually built by Silverstone as well. Um, and the other thing too, is that I just love the packaging and stuff like that. NZXT did a great job. They're always sold out, but uh, overall a great power supply and I love getting to use these. And then of course, uh, we're gonna make it look good with some Asia Horse cables. We chose blue for this one. Um, for RAM, we're going to use the Trident Royal Z, the RGB. This is Trident Royal Z. Um, I think this is 3200 megahertz. Good enough. We're going to fill in all the slots just to continue to make the build look good, which should be great. And then for our for our um, for our NVMe, we're using this Western Digital Black SN750 500 gig uh, M.2. So should be a good build. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it should look great. And then we're also just because just because. We're gonna throw in these new uh, Lian, uh, these uh, Uni uh, Fan SL120s. Um, let's, we'll talk a little bit about these when we put these in the case here in a little bit, but these things are pretty crazy. These are really neat fans. Um, they have a very unique way of connecting and we'll show that off here in a little bit. Okay. So just walking you guys through this real quick, we're gonna use this right here. Um, this, is your, uh, this is your AM4 socket, this is your CPU socket. These are brackets for mounting. Um, like in some, some cases, like for instance, the Wraith Prism Cooler, which we have in our 3900X, this is where we'd mount it. Um, up here, these are EPS CPU connectors. We've got two, we've got two eight pins. Um, these are what you use for doing stuff like, uh, this one is gonna give your power to the CPU. Um, obviously the more power, the more stable it is. It powers things like the VRM. The second one is actually for what's called high, like basically um, LN cooling or high performance overclocking, which is nothing you're going to do. 99% of the time, you do not need to use this. Some cases, the boards don't work unless you plug it in, but in this, most cases, you do not need it. So if you end up having a problem and you didn't plug it in, a thing to troubleshoot is to throw the second one in there and sometimes that'll work. Um, so this up here, this is uh, these are fan headers. This light gray one is actually your CPU fan header. Um, if you had an AIO or if you have a CPU, you'll see when we throw in an air cooler, um, this is where you basically connect it. So this is just to tell you that this header has to have something connected to it. So that way the CPU knows that it's being cooled. That way uh, it'll throw an error if it doesn't and keep, them, keep the PC from booting, um, which saves you from having to replace your CPU. 
Uh, over here, these are RGB headers. We've got a three pin and a four pin uh, RGB header addressable and non-addressable. Um, these are dip switches and this is basically, this is where you start paying extra money for motherboards. This is like an, uh, this allows you to actually power up the board without actually using the power switch. Um, so like say for instance, like you were like, oh, did I connect the, did I connect the front panels correct? Then hell, I can just test it here and see if it powers up. It lets you do things like clear CMOS. Um, and then also things like this, this will give you like indications of like error codes. So you don't have to use like a PC speaker and get beep codes. Uh, right here, this is all your RAM. So these are four, you got four, this is dual channel RAM. The way they're connected is they come in pairs. So this, what, this left side is a pair and this right side is a pair. This is A and this is B. This is A1, A2, B1, B2. This is your power connector for your motherboard, uh, your ATX power supply. So this is where you basically, your motherboard gets power. This giant thing right here, um, a lot of people like a lot of people like you're used to. This is your your X570 chipset, and this fan right here is for actively cooling your X570 chipset. Um, so this little fan keeps it from cooling because it does things like PCIe Gen 4 and all that sort of stuff. Um, right here on the bottom, these are your SATA connectors. Uh, your SATA stuff is for things like connecting hard drives, etc. This one's got six. Uh, down here, this is your front panel connector. Uh, this is a much more fancy board, so you can see it's actually color-coded. Um, not that anybody pays attention, but this is color-coded to show you things like where you need to plug things in. Makes it a little easier to figure out which, plan, which pins go to which one. Uh, these are USB 3.2 connectors. There's two of them. Another fan header here. Uh, these are USB uh, USB-C. Uh, this is a TPM connector right here. So if you uh, work in a corporate environment, like for instance, where I work at Microsoft, um, these TPM chips allow you to do things like BitLocker, encrypt your data, etc. cetera. Um, we got a, some more addressable RGB. Uh, this right here is actually your HD audio. Up here, we've actually got a USB-C. This is USB 3.2 in terms of connecting this. This right here, this right here, and this right here are all three M.2, so you can actually put hard drives underneath this. And then you have one, two, three by 16 slots. Uh, these are actually by eight, and then you've got a by one right here. So these are all, this is where you're gonna put all, put all your expansion cards. And on X570, these three, all of these are all PCIe Gen 4. And then this right here is your active VRM heat sink. So it does things like, hey, with, with, when getting a ton of power to the CPU, it allows you to do overclocking. Uh, it's got, you know, a pretty massive, I think this is 12, phase VRM power, it might be 16, yeah, 12 plus two. So there's a 12 plus two phase array. Um, so you got plenty of power to basically do some additional overclocking, etc. So let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and start putting in our CPU. So we're gonna grab our CPU right now. Here we go right now, this is our Ryzen. Um, little, little, little thing here, guys. So uh, when you grab your CPU, when you grab your CPU, make sure you grab it from the side, like so. Okay, you don't wanna touch the, touch the side or touch the bottom or anything like that. And then you don't want to do like you like the big thing is like there's these pins on the other side. And you don't want to do anything like lick the pins or anything. You don't want to you don't want to you don't want to lick the pins. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is not a Ryzen 3900X, guys. This is just. <laughs> I got you guys so bad. You guys are freaked out right now. You just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's actually get out our real CPU now. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here's our real Ryzen 9 3900X. Um, <laughs> here's our real Ryzen 9 3900X right here. Um, and uh, we'll be putting this in here um, and not licking it or doing anything like that. So. This little arrow right here is the arrow that goes in the lines of this little arrow over here. All you're gonna do is just drop it in uh, sideways like that. And then all you do is you put, go ahead and push this back down just like that. So yeah, that, that's all it takes to basically get that in. And now you've got your, you've got your CPU installed. Oh okay, yeah, let's get our RAM in here. So there's our RAM. We're gonna open all that up. You wanna line that little slot with the little, the little break in the RAM like that. And then you just push in there and you're gonna get a nice, ow, satisfying click. Okay, there we go. Ow, that's so, it's so sharp, so sharp. You're sharp, like that. Oh, ow, that's so, it's, it's so painful. You're sharp, let's grab a cooler. Here's another dad joke, guys. I farted on my wallet, now I've got gas money.
Okay, so the only other thing y'all need out of this is I'm gonna grab the USB connection. Okay, so we're using the Wraith Prism Cooler. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little this little thing right here, we're gonna connect it to our CPU like that. And there's these two little latches on here. These two latches connect to this little latch uh, here on the cooler. So, um, so what you're gonna do is you're basically always do the bottom one first, like so. And there's pre-applied thermal paste, just so you guys know. Pre-applied thermal paste. Take the second one and you put it down on the other one. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then what you do is you just basically take this little latch right here on the left, and then you're just gonna click it up and it's gonna lock. And there you go, now, you're, now your cooler's installed. We're good there. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pull that out. We're gonna grab our Western Digital right here. Uh, that little slot goes in this little slot right here. You just basically push it in like this. And there you go, it's in there like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and lock this up. And we're locked. Okay, cool. So now our M.2 is installed. So these are the new Lee and Lee, uh, the new Lee and Lee Uni fans. These are the three, this is the three pack of 120s. You get your instructions and then you get your fans. So there's a little, there's a little, there's little pin connectors on here like this. And you can see, you can see those. And then what you do is you have one fan. And then the way that you connect more than one fan is you just slide them together. There, that's it. Now the fan, oh, that, see that, that's it, the fans, the fans, and they're all, now they're connected. And then right here is the one connector. This is the only connector that you have for your fans. You just put it right here and then boom. And that's, that's your fans. Like you're now all your fans, single PWM, single RGB, and now you've got three fans. So like you're not tight, like that is crazy in terms of just being able to just put fans in, that is nuts. These are the accessories. It looks like an RGB extension and PWM extension. Uh, another <clears throat> USB so you can control via USB. You've actually got a fan, like a, a hub. So let's get this mounted into the case. And then just like that, like look at how easy, like that's just so easy. You basically have all the fans are perfectly lined up, perfectly aligned and they're good to go, which is crazy. Let's get these installed real quick. And then all I'm gonna do is just run these two cable things up here at the top here on the back half. And there we go, like cable managed, done. I'm just moving this because this, like how they place this fan, like where they put the cable for this fan is just terrible. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's just little grooves in the, in the channel back here, which makes it easier to put the fan on. That's actually pretty awesome too. Nice little, another plus. Remember guys, this, this, this case is only 79 bucks. Okay, so we got our fans in. Let's get our motherboard in. Let's get our front panel connectors hooked up. Here's our fan stuff. Okay, so there you go, hook that up. Hook it up. This goes here. Okay, there you go. These are our front panel connectors. We're connect, we throw these down in this little slot here at the beginning, at the front. Uh, USB-C is gonna go in this little middle slot right here. And then we got USB 3.2 is gonna go right here. We've got our HD audio connection. That's gonna go right there. And that's all of our front panel. There you go, there's our power. Okay, so there's our USB connection. This one is your SATA power right here. So that's gonna go in this little slot right here. And this is uh, RGB. So this will allow you to do your RGB and your PWN thing. And so there's a little connection right here on the bottom. And that just goes right here like that. And there you go, your hub is all connected. This and this are gonna go right over here in the far right. Now we're gonna turn this over. And then we're gonna connect this just mess of cables. It's our fan header. This is the next one is USB-C. It's only keyed one way, so it only goes in one way. If it's going, if you're having a hard time putting it in, you're putting it in wrong. Next one is USB 3.2. There's a little nipple. Yep, that's right, I said nipple, but that is actually what's on here. A little place at the top. You wanna to go to a 90 degree angle. Straight down and then boom, it just clicks right in. Hard drive goes on the bottom left and reset goes next to it. There you go. Reset goes next to it. And then I got a power switch somewhere. I just got to find it. This goes on the far, over on the far place over here. Okay, over here we've got USB and another fan header. This is to control, this is for the Lee and Lee stuff. So I can control the fan speed. Then we've got a USB. There's a little, there's a, there's a missing connection. That just means it's only keyed one way and it's just gonna click in just like this. We've got HD audio again, also has a filled in pen. And there you go, it's all hooked up. Let's go ahead and put in our GPU. This thing has protection. So I gotta take this protection off here. There we go. 
Now, dropping the 2080 Ti in there, just because. We got that in. Now let's put our extensions in real quick. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we took the whole rubber insert with us. Ugh. Okay, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Gotta fix this rubber insert now. So that's the only thing I'd say is the rubber inserts are not big enough. Ugh. So this is the first thing that I've found an issue with. Outside of that, it's actually been a pretty straightforward, painless build process. Let's get our power supply in here real quick. We'll need a SATA and we'll need our power. There won't be a ton here. Uh, this right here, uh, this is our VGA cable. So this is gonna plug into our uh, GPU, or in this case, our GPU extensions. And that's gonna plug in right here where it says PCIe right here. So it just goes right there. This is our CPU and notice it says PSU. The CPU side is split right here. So it's connected with two four pins, uh, two four pins that become an eight pin. You can see right here, it says plugs in right here on the 850 watt, it shows CPU. Let's plug it in just like so. There we go, that's good. This is our ATX power supply for our motherboard. It's pretty easy, it only goes one place. So it just connects just like that. And then finally, this is our SATA right here. SATA connections, this is for hard drives, but also it powers a lot of, it powers a lot of accessories like your AIO, and in this case, our uh, fan hub. And then this goes in the little three pin one right here, um, just like that. And there you go. And there's all of our connections. It's almost in. There we go, okay. Screw in the power supply real quick. Let's just connect our last cables. There we go. Okay, GPU's hooked up. We're gonna shove that down in the hole. Okay, next up, we're gonna grab our CPU. Okay, there we go. So there you go, CPU's now connected. Okay, this is our motherboard power. There we go, right there. Let's click together, nice. Grab our little SATA. This is the last thing we need for our Lean Leaf fans. There we go. Okay, everything's hooked up. Gotta make sure that the case is put together correctly. So this just pops in just like this. This is chicks out, like this little button. I, let, I am impressed with this case. Like it is pretty much toolless. It is toolless. Like it's a, it's a straight up toolless case in terms of taking it apart and prepping it. PC is ready to go. I'm excited to see what happens here. Okay, here we go. Turn it on and... Oh, look at that! And the fan spin! You guys are incredible. Thank you very much for all the subs, everybody. Have a good night and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. The sun will come out tomorrow.